Oh, good evening. It's 10 o'clock. Let's grab the fragments of this day and sift through all that it has been as we lay them before the Lord. Father, as we come before you, we take a moment now to reflect on all the day has been and us to gather the fragments to celebrate the joys, to grieve over the sadnesses and to, Lord, celebrate your image in us and the love that we share for you and with you for others. Father God, be with us now. Pour your spirit into our hearts, open our minds and help us to be open to the move of your love as we come before you now. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let us ponder this day, now coming to its close. And we pray together with the words, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought word and deed and in what we have failed to do forgive us our sins heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in christ amen O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 16 Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, all my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup, in your hand alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land, indeed I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me, he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad, and my spirit rejoices, my flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. 
In your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. On Peter chapter 5 verses 8 and 9 Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil is prowling round like a roaring lion, seeking for someone to devour. Resist him strong in the faith. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Father, the image before us this night is a reminder of those we love and see no longer. This image of all souls reminding us of the fragility of life, the tenuous, ephemeral hold that we have on life. Father, as we look at the images before us, as we see each candle, each light, a life, will we come before you with the words of Seek ye first the kingdom of God. All these things will be added to us if we seek your kingdom, Lord. But what? As we seek you, as we seek your righteousness, all things should be added to us. All things will lift us from the boggy path which we so often tread. And Father, this night as we trudge through this life, having perhaps found the easy path today, or the hard path with the climbs and the rough surfaces, the slippery paths that cause us to fall, the wonderful paths that cause us to joyfully celebrate our journeying with you. Father, we thank you for your grace with us this day, a grace which shows forgiveness where we have fallen, and in that forgiveness we are picked up, our feet placed once again upon the rock 
rather than the slippery places of failing and falling. Lord, for those who this day we have caused to stumble, we come and ask your forgiveness for us and healing for them, and that they might have the grace to forgive us also our trespasses against them. Father, for the joys this day, for the wonderful things, for the ability to stand with a loved one, to celebrate, to bless, to bring into your presence and in the presence of other family members and friends perhaps. Father, we thank you for our blessings the easy, gentle paths we've taken today. Father, we come before you with the sharp, jagged journey, fueled perhaps by Russia and Ukraine and the cruel, wicked foolishness that that is. Father, we pray for those this night who are under threat, whose lives are at risk. We pray for those who are part of a nation which is cruel and greedy, selfish, wicked. And Lord, we pray for our broken world that you Jesus the Christ, the Son of God, would have mercy upon our world and its follies. And as we bring our prayer to you, as we make audible the cries of our heart, as within our chest our hearts beat with pain and longing. You would touch the ones we love. You would be this night with Ian. And for all we know who suffer from MND. That you would lift Olive and the family. Onto the smooth paths. Where the scenery becomes pleasant. Where the sunsets are wonderful and the dawns inspire. And as each dawn comes for those we love, we pray for them and for ourselves. For Philip and a, a sister and family who have gathered this day. For the pleasant, for the blessed, and the lives of all those for whom we pray this day. For Jill and for Bob and all that is happening in that family. For Carol, Sue Shakespeare recovering from a stroke. For Evangeline. For June Cottrell and her care. And the prayers of her family and the prayers of her friends. For Karen and for Sheila. For Molly and Heather and Mary and Enid and Norman, for Derek and we pray especially for him as he recovers from his fall and the bruises. For June Hawley that she would know healing in mind, body, spirit and in housing needs. For a young child, Mabel, recovering from surgery for hip dysplasia. Leah and Kev and for Effie and for the whole family with their many needs. We pray for those this night who look after loved ones who have cancers and other serious illnesses, physical, terrible. We pray for Mo and George. We pray for Amy and her needs, for Josh Eden, 
that you would touch his body and that you would bless his family and especially Jonathan as he has a time of refreshment that is sabbatical. For Simon and Luke and for Gillian. Father, I thank you for Gillian, a woman who has inspired us by signing over the years in courses and lectures that I've attended, turning unheard words into visible poetry as hands move. And we are inspired. We pray for the Mitchell family. We pray for Kath and for Tracy and Christopher and the whole family tomorrow as they lay Colin to rest. May he rest in peace and rise in glory. For Graham and for Gillian, for Margaret and for John. And Lord, we pray for the Bennets and the Wildmans, one family. We join together and pray for Harry and Damien and their needs. Father God, we pray that those we pray might find themselves led from the difficult paths this night. That as sleep comes, they might know your hand, your presence, the warmth of the sun, a steadiness of a firm foundation. Father God, we pray for all this night who have needs unknown, except to them perhaps, those who we know but do not understand, for their needs are unspoken. Father God, we pause now. We pray that your light, your love, your presence in every sense will be ours. Father, breathe your spirit through us now. Blow away the doubts, the fears, the night terrors that visit us. And bring us rest, respite, wholeness, health. And sleep and refresh tomorrow we may wake and we may joyfully set out upon the road that is tomorrow ready to meet the road as it rises or falls as it takes us into verdant and barren places as it inspires and it causes us pain. Father God, we pray that this night, Lord, you would keep watch with those who wake or watch or weep this night, that you would give your angels charge over those who sleep, that you would tend the sick, Give rest to the weary, sustain the dying, calm the suffering, and pity the distressed. All for your love's sake, O Christ our Redeemer. Amen. And as we lay this day to rest, and ourselves abed, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, 
for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Sleep well, one and all. May you rest, may you wake, and tomorrow rejoice in a new day. And may the presence of God be with those for whom you pray and us this night. And may he heal our broken world. Good night, guys. Bless you. Thank you for being part of this. Sleep well. And if we can do anything, you know where we are, just shout. Bye for now.